So when you cut through this, and you can even come up and slice down through them like this too, if you're real careful, don't cut your fingers off. And you can break those apart, and you can then go in, look at the pith, and look at it from that angle too. So that, that'll give you an idea. But basically what you're doing is going along here, trying to remove uh, the excess, and you do that pretty quickly, see? You just go along here and you just chop this back. You're not even counting, you're just kind of getting an idea. Try to keep them three buds long if you can, and just go through here and start whacking the barber. Just take it off. Don't even, don't even, don't even keep any idea of how many. You're not counting buds, you're not doing any of that. Just cut it off here, and then just like getting a haircut. Then we're going to come back in later, and come back and then we'll count so don't be picky at this part. Just be careful. Be safe. But don't don't be picky. You're just gonna cut these canes out. Get them out of here. More of if you have time in April or late March. And then as soon as you get all of these cut off, because you need them back to three three butt spurs anyway, then then you can come in and, and start weighing. If you think you need to leave four bud spurs, then you want to make that judgment ahead of time if you think you've lost a lot of buds. Okay? But then you'll take all this wood here, you cut it up, and you probably saw the picture there that I was showing you earlier, and then you wrap, you put it around the scale, then you put it on the scale and weigh it, or if you get an idea of, you know, if you've done this enough, to say, is that a pound of wood, half a pound, two pound, whatever. But it's this wood here, the brown paradigm, what you're weighing. You're not weighing, let's show the best example, because I have to take one off anyway. You're not going to weigh old wood. old wood. What's old wood? Let's just cut this one off. Okay, here's one year old right here. I'm cutting that off. But this part right here is two year old. That was the one-year-old wood last year. See? We don't weigh this. That's not our interest. We're, we're interested in what grew vegetatively green last year. Okay? So this we get rid of. Why did I take that off? Remember, I'm trying to bring this back as close as possible to the mother vine. And if we keep leaving these shoots to grow out further and further, see this was the one year, and then I go and I leave this one, See how far out it is? And then next year, I leave another one. It's clear out here. You get the point? It yeah. just keeps going further and further and further out to where I've got fruit clear out in here. This is where the tractor is. This is where the people are. I need to push that back, get it back here. Uh, on that side, it's hard for you to tell. But see this one right here, how close it is? Now, you've got options. So I take this off out here, turn that back, get it back even closer, Take this one. See how these two are side by side? <clears throat> Get rid of that extra one. And keep this one. See? Nice space. Now this does cut over into here. So I might even get more blunt with it and just take that off. That got rid of the old and the new. And we keep this focused here. So you start to see that this, this space this space is out as you take these off. I got no, this one here, this one here. If you look straight down, you'll start to see how they're lining up going down the row. Okay? He rows a lot. See how this one goes over here? So we'll take it there. Well, it's because he, this one's going down. I may leave that as a renewal fruit. spur. A it's single fruit. bud Detroit. renewal Detroit. spur right here. Okay? That will then be the shoot coming off of that. Then next year, I'll do what? I'll prune right here and take this one out. Okay? Now, do you all see what's happening here? If you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Is that yeah. We're spurs. We're leaving spurs on, right? These are spurs. We're going to leave them all on until we go back and recount. If we need the 40 buds, then we'll go back through and select. We may even take off one out here on the end because we don't need that many fruit buds on that spur. Or we may literally take out spurs. That's the whole spur. The wood that you... Right. The weight of the wood. Yeah. Or the idea. You, when yeah. you go to rejuvenate these, you can't depend on that weight. You may just have to be 
ah, I know Morse told me I should weigh it, but I can't figure out a weight on it. I'm just going to estimate. Then you're just going to have to live with your estimation. Then you may have to come back later and do some other crop adjustment. So you start adjusting the crop now, but you also start adjusting it then later once you see the fruit on it. How do you determine how many per plant when this looks like the same plant? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> That's an excellent question. Do you see on this here how this one stopped here and they extended this one on, okay? What they're trying to do is commercially fill the entire trellis distance. If this vine is not aggressive enough in doing its part to get to this post, that's kind of its distance, then what they're doing is saying, ah, this one will come over and help fill in. And that's what that's doing. So if the one is going to be slow, not as aggressive, then allow its neighbor to come over and help fill in. Because the interest is, is not just to have that vine with its perfect little world, although you do want that too, but you want to have the trellis full. So when you come out and you prune out here, and you're counting and you're doing all these great bud counts, you also have got to be thinking out ahead, well, how, how is this going to fill out this entire trellis distance? Because so do the, I look at this as one plant or two? <clears throat> well, you probably have to come back in and figure about where that stops and then count those buds within that plant. Because what? The root system is feeding that much. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. That's a good point. So, oh, and like in here, I'll just cut this off and use this demonstration. This has some of that Phomopsis that's growing. That's a disease that grows right as the green shoots are growing. It'll be right down the basal end, the end that's right at the, where it attaches to the mother plant. That's called Phomopsis cane and leaf spot. And normally it's not a killer. 